Well, 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 it's finally time. Sup, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the OTK Games Expo live from the We, Pay, we Play, excuse me, We Play Studio. Oh, there he is, the classic WoW god, S-Fan TV, and he's going to be helping us, giving us a little bit of commentary and all that as well, and who else do we have? And, oh, look at that, we've got, um, okay, so yeah, um, we've got, uh, got, uh, who is, uh, Mizkif, Mizkif, we've got Mizkif there as well, and uh, okay, all right. What the hell? What the hell y'all doing? Quit talking. We're going into the show, and then oh, we've got Amaru, obviously, of course. Why not just have a little tournament right now? So, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Team Intel and Team Razor coming to the stage right now. We are going to have two of the worst teams that have ever been created in esports. Help me in welcoming. Team Intel made up of Tectone, Emeru, and Mizkif. And then over on the side of Team Razor, we have your mother's favorite streamer. It's none other than Variety Gaming Expert Seer. Followed by Soda Poppin. He made your streaming career, and now he's going to make you pay. And of course, their team leader, S Band TV. I got the two leaders next to me right now. And uh, I have a few questions to ask to you, S-Fan, as you see your team getting ready to get into the booth. Why do you think you're going to be able to win? Well, listen, I've been practicing with Jake and Bay for the last few weeks for uh, Rocketbot Royale. We put a lot of time in in the lab in the dungeon. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be great. I don't care. Where's Bruce? Where is Bruce? Where is he? Bruce. This is the best interview I've ever done in my entire life. And I think you might be the best team that I've ever seen. That's right. That's because I'm part of Team OTK, Team Razor. Are you going to let him talk to you like that? We're sponsored, so yes. I'm not going to say anything that bad, but I will say Team Intel will be beating you tonight. That's okay, because Intel is also great. I think Razor's great, too, honestly. It's a good sponsor. Yeah, we can really just... Can we just hash this out? Can we just talk about this? Just give each other a hug and get the match underway. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a best of five to the death. We have the two fiercest teams that Rocketbot Royale has ever seen. And now it is time to send it up to our casters. It's none other than Asmongold and Tips Out Baby. So you just rolling all around in the tank, blowing people up. You're just blowing people up. That's how okay. it works. Have you ever played Worms? Uh, I remember I played a game like this. It was a flash game in like middle school or high school, and you would shoot a, a little. And it looks like they're about to deploy here shortly. They you know they to have deploy. to deploy. Okay. S fan leaping up, trying to snipe Miz down, but Miz has the high ground. S fan's dead. He's 100% dead. Oh. oh my god, he got deleted. It's no way. It's 1v1 Seer versus Emmy in the no first way, match of his bro. best of five. The lake is rising, Please the match time off. is running out. Oh, she's higher than he is. He's dead. Seer with the miss. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, who was it? Like, I, I forgot who it was. S fan just ran in there and just got killed. Dude. He's oh man. Okay. Come on, wow. Is ever. Wait, and then oh, 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 <laughs> into Miz Kip. Here's the bombardment okay. coming out oh. from no, Team no, Razor. The snipe from long range misses. Emmy okay. goes for the homing missile, but what? as she takes down S Man, and now Shot is on the low ground. He's got to be careful. No shot. No shot. She's gonna have to try to leap over. She launches a couple of missiles. Is she gonna done. make it's it? Done. No. Oh, wow. And that's a second victory wow. for Team Razor. Tectone just looks to lob as many missiles from as far away as possible. But he shoots into the environment, and it looks like he's going to die. Good job, Tectone. Team Razor wins Good job. three to one. Good job. Wow. Takes the best of five for Team Intel. Isn't that something? Oh, my God. What a dramatic end. <laughs> Couldn't have scripted it any better, Asmund. Look, I know that this was just a show match to some people. I heard the people on Intel saying that it was just a game, but I think the phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. You're okay with what happened? Losing imperfection of a crap? When you stop getting angry, you've already lost twice, S-Fan. You've already lost twice, and, and that's exactly it. I mean, the best gamers in the world have said that before, and uh, that's exactly what we consider ourselves. Myself, Seer, Soda Poppin, best is the standard. That's how we do things, so, uh, of course, we just, we just edged them out just by that much today, and 
That's all it takes. Edging is key. Edging is key. Now, look, Soda Poppin, you made me. Yeah. S fan, I think that everything that you did was incredibly brave. Absolutely it was. And uh, I'm going to continue doing that. Yeah. What? <laughs> S fan, do you think Mizkiff is terrible at games? I don't. Terrible is a strong word, but honestly, not strong enough. And uh, if there is a better word, then yeah, I would use that one. Look, I'm gonna cut the malarkey. Can I take a picture with you? Okay, shut up. Listen, the only the only reason we won is we finally managed to get Seer to stop like dying uh, accidentally, like killing himself in the game by falling in the water. Yeah. We did a lot of like we, we got to play like once or twice in rehearsal, and he died every single practice round, and it was pathetic. And I've reamed him like 20 times since since yesterday. So, but and, and before yesterday. We actually lost one match, and it was when he actually killed himself again. So, unlucky. This is the truth, right? You have people like myself and Soda Pop and elite RPG gamers. Look, you give us 20 minutes with a game, and we're going to master it just like that. You know, the, the different systems in the game, it's, it's simple, right? We're always going to be the best. That's it. That's all. I think that that is all that needs to be said. Now, Third Pie Studios has a brand new game as well that we're going to be checking out. This one is called Ages of Kataria. Hello and welcome to Kataria. Ages of Kataria is a village story generator where you'll choose your own ancestry, expand your town, and watch over the villagers who live there. Your villagers will age over real world weeks, experiencing glory and pain. As they live, your villagers will develop skills and personalities, which will help them on adventures. Assign your villagers to collect resources that your village needs, Play mini games around town to increase your villagers' skills and boost productivity. When they aren't developing the village, your villagers will embark on text-based adventures that add to their life story and leave lasting impacts. However, every story must come to an end. As they pass, their souls will enter your town's spirit tree, and their offspring leave a legacy as your town's history grows. Craft your town your way, built from a wide selection of buildings and props to design your town to your aesthetic. Customize each of your buildings in town and share it with your friends online. Change your villagers' hairstyle and outfit. Trade for the resources you need online. Come set sail and enjoy Ages of Kataria. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, we got ourselves S Fan and Tectone here to talk about the simulation mm -hmm. game. How do you guys feel? Dude, well, just first off, I don't know if there's something wrong with me, but I, I looked at Ages of Kataria and I just came thinking to myself, I want to build a big village and I just want to build the biggest, baddest tree that I can as fast as possible. <laughs> but I that asked. would mean I would have to kill off the whole village. Well, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, that's why I asked about how big the tree can get. Yeah, exactly. yeah. well-renowned uh, gamers here. We have S Fan TV and we have Jay Schlatt on to talk about these games. Schlatt, what do you think? Thank you so much, Asman. Hold on one second. <sighs> yeah, it looks good. Shroud, you look so good right now, man. Incredibly handsome. And look, Asman, I mean, look, you see, you see a lot of these game genres that go back in time. This is one with renown. I really feel like this mm -hmm. is the perfect fit for it. Yeah, no, 100%. I, I think, uh, I mean, Asmund, you, you and I, were cut from the same cloth. We yeah, like yeah. knights, armor, yeah. big frickin' swords. Uh, I, I think Renown looks really, really exciting. You know, it's, it's just one of those games. I, I'm so excited. Like, I remember I first started playing Rise whenever they had that first uh, server that we made yeah, on yeah. Twitch and with everybody on it. And, like, I had such a good time. I would steal everybody's horse on that server. It was yeah. great. It was one of my favorite things to do. I uh, would take a day off a of stream just so I could run around and hide under somebody's base and break it down. But, like, this <laughs> it's like, especially... No, really, that's what I did. No, uh, I, I, would, I would steal those things. I, I'd run them back to my stable. I remember. I, I actually... I was 
playing, I would log in, and I think the first time I encountered your, your stable, yeah. I was just running around like off the side of a beach or something, and I see this big house, and I, and I open it, and there's just horses lined up, and everybody's getting their horses stolen, they have no idea where they're going. And yeah. it's just, Asmund literally has like 20 horses sitting in this stable, and just, you're a horse thief. I mean, you were collecting mounts even in Rust. And hey. what were you gonna do with those horses, man? Uh, well, usually, like, I would, honestly, the thing is that I had to build a bigger team because we employed one person just to feed all the horses. Wow. Yeah, like that, we actually, we turned this into an industry. <laughs> so I'm really curious to see what, <laughs> I'm curious to see what this is going to be. Like, I look at the graphics, I look at the way the game plays, and it's like, I mean, I see chopping down trees. Yeah. I'm thinking of, you know, just that, that new world late night experience sitting in the dark. And so I just am so, so excited to see this game. But there's a number of other ones as well. Like yeah. the, uh, There's so many good ones here. Which I, ones do you like? Well, I mean, Fueled Up looks yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Literally just overcooked in space. I mean, that's that's the yeah, better yeah. formula than that. Yeah. Well, I think I think the big thing too is uh, I mean, we'll just tell them the truth, guys. We need some stream content, you know. And yeah. and we do our game nights every Wednesday. We do our OTK game nights every Wednesday, and we're looking at all these party games. And uh, even when we were going through the trailers, we were like, dude, we got to play this one. We got to play this one. And I know, yeah. uh, I mean, all these games really. But you know, you mentioned Fueled Up, Minigame Madness, Matriarch. I mean, you, you name it. Uh, and even, even un unfortunately, some things that we didn't, don't even get to show in the expo, uh, there were just so many good submissions we had to uh, we had to narrow it down for the sake of the show. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you guys see we've got a lot of the really, really good ones here. And I have to say I like Fueled Up, too, as well. Mm -hmm. Like, absolutely. it was a lot like the, uh, and especially the OTK game night. Like, I am so sick of you guys playing Gang Beast and throwing me <laughs> off the egg. <laughs> I'm tired of this, man. Like, what's going on? I, I want to play Gang Beast. Uh, so far, I'd wanted to play Gang Beast, like, every week because yeah. I... I basically just get to go harass Asmund, which is one of my favorite pastimes. I, I literally throw me off the edge. It's like, yeah. I feel Mini like game, Palpatine. Imagine minigame madness in yeah. real life. If we yeah. had OTK game night in real life, yeah. had everyone in like Antarctica. Yeah, and just pushing each other off cliffs. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah, why not? What could go wrong? Yeah. yeah. I, no, mean, yeah. I Personally, I'd love to play minigame madness with Ludwig. Ludwig, you down, man? Oh, my God. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah, no thanks, man. No. We'll let you know. Yeah. Nah. I don't know. I'm, 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 I've got to say, like, I am so excited about this Renown game. I think that this type of survival game, especially like team-based survival games where it's like PvP and, and it's in a medieval setting, yeah. I am just so, so hyped up for that. So yeah. I might actually even play the uh, combat demo because I think it's one of those games, like, uh, especially with something like Renown, what really makes a game like that, uh, you know, fun is that, you know, you've got a one-week, two-week wipe cycle. So it's mainly about like building up and like the play experience yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis. So like making sure that that is like pristine, on point, precise, and fun to do. I think that if you do that, everything else just fits together. I think uh, I think fresh in, in any game, like whenever you get a chance to, to wipe it and go fresh and, and start yeah. from the beginning is, is fun for everybody. Because you have people that, that that's just what they do. They just like going fresh and they like just from the beginning over and over and over again. Yeah. Or there's people that were like, oh, I, I didn't do well on the last wipe, and these are all my excuses. These are all my reasons. But this yeah. time, this time I'll do it's good. It's going to be different this yeah, time, yeah. guys. I'm they just, they're in the back. cycle, dude. They're in the cycle. This next announcement, we didn't really tease it or anything like that, but I have been so excited for it all day long. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited to introduce Notorious. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Cole. And I'm John. And this is Notorious Studios. We're a small game company that started last year and we're trying to make a game. What game are we making, John? I don't know. I don't know what our game is. <laughs> <laughs> Project Honor is a class-based online action RPG where you can go on adventures with your friends or on your own to get loot and resources to gear out your character. I'm S. Fan, uh, senior paladin, the people's paladin, grand marshal, scarab lord, uh, gladiator, esquire. I'm the acting CEO here at Notorious, and I'm incredibly, incredibly happy with the development of the project so far. Um, I mean, really carrying out my vision for what this game is going to be and uh, what this experience is going to be, because the reality of it is it's it's not just an experience. What's, what's this for? I was just, the ca the, there's cameras. We're trying some new things here, trying to being, you know, going out there and being risky and kind of showing some of the stuff early, but uh, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I, I'm sure S Fan and and Tips, you yeah. all went out to the uh, the studio yourselves, and you got a chance to take a look around. What do you think? I, I thought it was absolutely incredible. I mean, just just getting the chance to go out there and. I mean, Tip said it, you know, in the video. We're we're fantasy enjoyers, right? And we're all can't believe I said that. Hey, we're enjoyers. That's what it is, and uh, we're all cut from the same cloth. And really, from the first time we met, and uh, I mean, you you made a video uh, really before Notorious and everything got started. I uh, reacted maybe, to it. Maybe maybe publicly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, as yeah. we reacted to it. <laughs> but uh, I remember watching that video, and I was like, this this guy gets it. And, and it, it's not just you, but it's it, it's a whole um, it, it's the whole culture at Notorious. It's it's all the same, and uh, it it was a perfect fit. It's exciting to see that you guys are uh, looking at games the same way that we look at games, the same way that a lot of people look at games. And um, I uh, I mean, just getting to play test the game a little bit was an incredible experience. Even though it's you know it's 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 just in the beginnings, it's already uh, it already has a lot of promise. So. I'm very excited about that. Yeah, I mean, you're there during what I talked about in the videos, like our weekly ritual of play testing the game and giving feedback. And, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy that you and uh, Rich were able to be a part of that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, it was funny. We, we went, and I don't remember how long we play tested exactly. Maybe, maybe it was like an hour or so, maybe, maybe a couple hours. I don't remember. But we play tested for maybe an hour or two. And we sat there and talked, I think, for four hours, <laughs> just, just yeah. talking to everybody yeah. on the team and just hearing what people's – uh, vision was and in gaming in general and just how people look at games is, is it, it was the one of the most fun experiences I've had and was supposed to be working so I don't know maybe <laughs> I was cheating it a little bit but it, it was a lot of fun getting to getting to play test the warrior and stuff too yeah yeah uh yeah I know we afterwards we just had like really long several hour conversations and you had a flight to catch but I know Rich mm -hmm. he st stayed around stayed around longer and you know we had dinner and Man, Rich can just keep going and go. I don't know how He's Rich can crazy. just keep talking that that much. It's just insane. So yeah. this is a lot better than S Fans Garage. <laughs> it really it's a is. lot better. Oh my god! All right, guys. All right, it's time. Come on, come on, come on. A year Everybody and a half. Here. We're in yep. a giant studio like this, and look how yep. many of us. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And for everybody here at OTK, thank you so much for your support for all this time. Thank you to everybody, the developers, the sponsors, and, of course, you all, the viewers. And uh, as I said always, the best way of saying thank you is better content, and that's what we hopefully have done today and we will continue to do. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next time, peace.